welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching all the beer no idea. I'm Baz. Now, I've done a lot of traditional sort of beers lately, a lot of lagers, uh, and a lot of stuff from sort of like the machines and me pinter and that. And although I've done a few craft beers, I haven't really done anything. How can I put? I haven't really done anything from any sort of big name sort of breweries, if you like, in the craft sort of thing. And I also haven't done many stouts lately either. So what have we got coming up now? We've got one from a really big branded uh, craft beer company. And we've got a stout as well. And I picked this up from St Martin's service station quite a while ago. Coming at £4.99 this. And it's from Overtone Brewing out of Scotland. And this is a can of their vanilla froth. And it's a vanilla latte stout coming in at 9% in a 440ml can. Like I said, £4.99. You may think that's expensive. Yes, I mean, it's not cheap for one beer, is it? But uh, for what, you know, that's I think that that's a decent price for what I'm hoping I will get out of this because Overtone, very good, and they can they can demand more than that for their beers as well. So, uh, so yeah, if I give you a little bit of info on the back, I do like their artwork. They sort of, they stick to one sort of style, and I do like it. It's, it's I don't know, we like sort of something that just stays as it is don't we hopefully they won't change it anyway let's get on with it uh, a smooth creamy stout brewed with bourbon madagascan vanilla pods lactose and freshly ground coffee from kakibi coffee uh, from freshly ground coffee from kakibi coffee i'm guessing that's how you pronounce it uh, enjoy notes of roasted nut and dark cocoa complemented by the sweetness of the vanilla and the lactose so hopefully it's going to be nice and creamy vanilla in there nice rich dark malts as well with that little nuttiness in there sounds like a belter to me it does sound like a belter so without further i'm not going to say that let's just shut the hell up get this beer out the can and get it into a glass see what we get i do far too much talking don't i was in the fridge it's been out the fridge now for a good couple of hours it's starting to shoot its bolt a little bit i'm hoping this is going to be nice and heavy although i would say looking at it, it doesn't look particularly heavy maybe i'm being a bit harsh but uh but we'll see i'll give her a swirl see if there is anything in there and get that in there too overtone very decent brewery and like i said their beers tend to demand high prices and it sells, so what more can you do? What, what, what can you say, really? So, beer in a glass. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure that is jet black. It probably looks jet black in the camera. I'm not quite sure it's jet black. Uh, we've got a tan finger of compact head. Not a very big head on it. Uh, see if I can see. Bit of carbonation coming up the glass to the head. Not an awful lot though, it's not a, you're not seeing big amounts of it, which I wouldn't expect myself. So let's get me Uter in there and see what we get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really rich and indulgent smells. You're getting that lovely, rich sort of milky coffee aroma. Roasted malts, a lovely sort of coffee bitterness on the nose. You are getting a nice, you are getting vanilla in there. And it's very sort of soft and subtle on the nose, if, if, if you get what I'm saying. It's not punching you with a sweet, sickly sort of vanilla smell. With the coffee, it just smells amazing. So without further ado, let's dive in. And I said it then, I tried not to do it on the nose and I've done it on the drinking, so cheers. Ooh. First thing that hits you, it's 9%. You are getting a bit of that strength in all, in all fairness. There's a little bit of warmth in your chest after you've had a mouthful. It's a lovely smooth body, lovely smooth mouthfeel, gentle carbonation, 
Although I was maybe expecting the body to be that little bit heavier. But in all fairness, it, you know, even though it's not as heavy as I was expecting, it's, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Mm. Rich, roasty. You are getting that nutty thing in there as well. Almost, I don't know, for me it's almost, almost feels like walnut or something in there. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't, I'm not a big nut eater anyway, so why on earth I would pick walnut out, but it's got that walnut feel to it. A lovely, smooth, rich coffee, good quality coffee sort of thing in there as well. Uh, a nice bitterness to it, not nasty bitterness. Mm. creamy, soft, a little bit sweet, not not overly sweet though. And you are, again, you're getting that vanilla in there, but it's subtle. Although you sort of get it, the flavor of it is subtle. It's smooth, uh, really doesn't interfere with any, any of the, the rest of the beer like, you know. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you could drink this pretty quick, in my opinion, because it does go down quite easy. But I don't think you would. I don't think you would, because there's enough booziness in there, enough weight in the drink, to make you just get get your feet up on the sofa put sink on the TV and sit and just chill out with it. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful beer. It's a beautiful beer. Uh, just want to get every last drop out of it as you do. Yeah, cracking beer from Overtone. Vanilla froth. Their vanilla latte stout. Gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, a lovely, rich, indulgent one. Not one you're going to drink lots of. Just sit down, put your feet up. And enjoy. Uh, yeah, so... Like I say, thumbs up from me. If you've had this before, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to comment, like and share the video and all that lot. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. And that's it. So I'm going to leave you all in peace for this Saturday night. I don't think there's going to be any reviews tomorrow. So I may well be back Monday with another one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hope you've enjoyed the review. And I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.